Maria. Give me a second, guys. All right, dream infiltration. As I was finishing up my laundry and I still have one load in the dryer, a thought came to mind something that happened to me years ago. So I wanna talk about that really quickly. I'm gonna give you guys the definition of dream infiltration. I just pulled it up. And then I'm gonna talk about something that actually did happen many, many years ago. Well, I shouldn't say that. This is back in 2019 okay so it's not that long ago but how this works and so hopefully the things that i've shared with you all earlier will help ease you in some way okay because i'm gonna explain something here because this is what these dark practitioners do okay either these people have done it themselves those of you who know you've dealt with dark witches and warlocks or or these are they they hired people to do this stuff okay so dream infiltration let me click on this real quick let's see how where's the definition hold on all right it says here a debuff skill that can only be applied when the target is sleeping description the succubus can penetrate the dream of the sleeping target. Through dreams, the target's desires and weaknesses are identified. The dream or nightmare that the target desires is realized. Targets in a desired dream will fall into, into an incapacitated state. Mm-hmm. Until attacked, targets in a nightmare will wake up from the dream and all stats will drop significantly for 20 seconds. Hold on. Hold up. Okay. So I didn't want to get all, I don't want to get too deep. Okay. But here's the point. As I was talking earlier about people that do dream work. Okay, so in this particular definition, they talked about the succubus. And so this is especially for those of you who know that you are dealing with people doing lust on you and sending stuff to you. Okay. Um, now, aside of this succubus energy that they're talking about, something that happened to me in 2019 and, and to me, since this came to me as I was finishing up laundry, this is some form of dream infiltration. So remember how I told you guys that dark witches and warlocks can um, operate in this trickster energy where they can cloak, okay, in different energies. So I had a dream in 2019. It was pertaining to my grandmother. So now it was a scary dream. It was, it appeared, I must rephrase this because it appeared to be her. Okay. It appeared to be her that was taunting me. Okay. So this created a fear energy and based on what it took place in her living life before she passed away, um, all of her traumas, all of the things that have been done to her, the undealt with, all that, the abuse, the toxicity, okay? So it was designed, first and foremost, to perpetuate fear and to make me feel like she was somehow connected to or to cause me to be afraid of her or to make it appear like she... Um, was advocating trying to keep me stuck in this torturous cycle with my toxic family. And why would someone want to infiltrate the dream in this way? Okay, so now I'm going to tell you why. If, now this is not going to apply to everybody, if, if 
the individual that they're using or whatever they're cloaking, if this actual energy is one of your ancestors or guides in a higher frequency, it's going to cause you to fear this yourself and reject essentially one of your ancestors' assistance with trying to help you, okay? Because it's going to be a, a terrifying, it's a nightmare, okay? From, from what you can see, they're appearing in your dreams and they're taunting you and they're da 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 If you guys are wondering, can this happen? All you have to think about is how dark witches and warlocks cloak in divine people's energy. If they're able to do that, then they're able to do this. Okay, and this is designed to keep you away from your help or it's designed to keep you off the track. So this is shit that they still do. They wanted me to believe and to be afraid to work with one of the most powerful ancestors that I work with. Okay, because um, if I believed that she was a part of the fuckery, then I wouldn't be open. And she was one of the primary helpers. You see what I'm saying? So blocking her off, being afraid of that, giving me an illusion and an appearance in the dream as if she was dangerous, as if she was a part of wanting to hurt me and wanting me to... Uh, be attached to my toxic family, wanting me to, you know, because the way it was, it was like a nightmare, okay? This happened in 2019. So they identify your desires and your fears. So set intentions. See, one way you can take this type of information is simply, okay, great, now set intentions, Okay? Ask your team to amp up your support, okay, in terms of, all right, see, they sending them sucky business and weird nigga bitch, you know, uh, like, now that you know, you certainly don't want to be jacking off to no dark witch and warlock, I tell you that. You certainly don't want to be masturbating to no dark witch or warlock. It's a form of manifestation, you guys. Okay? Um... So see, you know, seek other means, bitch. Cause you know what I'm saying? If especially if you know what you was fucking dealing with. They had sex demons, entities, frequencies, whatever you want to call it. Ask your team to clear your energy, show you what to do. But hopefully, me sharing all this stuff reveals to you all that be mindful and just understanding that if you've dealt with this level of fuckery. Chances are they're still doing this, okay, if they ain't dead yet. So they're still trying to intrude your dream space, and they're trying to, in some cases, like they want it for me. They didn't want me to work with one of the most powerful ancestors that I have on my team. They wanted me to see her in a certain light. A lot was... A lot that was told to me about her in general wasn't even altogether true to start with. So they worked overtime to, to try to paint this picture so that, you know, that she's passed away. Um, and she was, I'm thinking she was a you know, star seed or indigo because she's, you know, much older. But she got taken out of here. She didn't get to do her ascension. Um, she didn't get to go through her full, you know what I'm saying, awakening. It was just a little bit too late. Too much karmic energy is different time. The body took a hit. All of that, okay, before she can start dealing with her traumas properly and, and uh, all that stuff. But she was still an indigo. She was still... Uh, one of the light ones that they just so happen to take out of here, okay, before she can do it. So she was assigned already to be one of the overseers for me, knowing that um, I was left to karmic energies. This is a part of why certain things took place before she died. Now that I'm recollecting, I'm looking back on a lot of shit and it's starting to all make sense to me. 
Okay. I see why she was disturbed in her death or uh, when she was in a hospital. I know why she didn't want me to do a lot of things when I was little because she knew some part of who she was knew that there was karmic energy surrounding me. I was accident prone and it wasn't by accident. It was karmic energy. So she knew that. This was a part of why she really didn't want me to do a lot of things because it was almost like there was a hit on my life from the beginning. And upon her, you know, getting ready to pass, you know, a lot of stuff come to us. They, it's said that a lot comes to us when we're that close to death. And she knew that I was being left in the den of snakes. Her daughter amongst others. So they wanted me to fear her so I wouldn't be open or ask or connect. So this is why I tell you all, set intentions, okay? Karmics, they don't quit, okay? And then when they lose, you can bet your bottom dollar they're trying to amp up fucking with your head. They're trying to confuse you. They're trying to tap into your fears. They're trying to fuck with you. They're trying to trigger all those things. So they're going to, they're going to, oh my God, this just came to me. <laughs> okay. This is why we got to just keep healing. They're like, the thing just said, they're going to identify. It said your desires and your fear. And so what are they going to do with that? Play with it. <laughs> They're going to play with it to fuck with you. To torment you. Right? Wow. This, wow, this is crazy, yo. But it's a lot that's starting to make more sense to me every single day. Now I get it. So just start setting intentions. Like, okay, team, I don't know. You know, help me out. This is a lot of information. Reveal the absolute truth. Break these illusions. Show me how to protect my dream space. Show me how to shut off remote monitoring, remote viewing. Block this shit out. Return this shit. Boom. Like, I'm just getting very creative in my approach to this. And just starting to realize that things aren't always quite as it seemed, even in the dream space. But then asking my team to help me, I command the truth, expose my enemies, expose my enemies, expose. That should be a daily thing anyway, especially if you've known that you've dealt with these type of people. And then give yourself space to wait and then just keep living. You don't have to think anymore. Let your energies go into focusing on your healing because guess what? Like I said earlier, you're going to get sharper. Shit going to come to you random like it just did to me. It's going to start happening more and more and more. The more you separate from these kind of people and the more you continue to work on your own healing and then not stress and overthink, knowing that you have more power and more at work in your disposal than these dizzy motherfuckers. Okay? Their hour of fuckery and Loki and trickster energies is over for some of these people. They're done. Take back your power. But be courageous and be serious about it because I say this in a very humorous way, urban way when I make these jokes. But you can't have power over who you want to fuck. Don't work like that. You can't have clarity over someone or a situation that you're still entertaining. You have to be decisive. And you're going to be amazed at the clarity you start to get over time. That fuzziness remains when we refuse to heal. 
and as long as we are dealing with these people. They're going to do what they're going to do, but your power will outrank them as you adhere to your journey. Haven't you figured this out yet? This is why they don't want you to do your journey. Because they know this full well. As long as they can keep you wanting to be asleep, wanting to take the blue pill, enamored with karmic energy, then they have a shot with fucking with you in your life. But the moment you grab your ascension journey and run with it and do the work, they are fully and clearly aware that this means they have lost their power. So this is why they send you lust. This is why they send you the succubus. This is why they want you afraid of your ancestors, your helpers, your counterpart. This is why they want you to see the twin as toxic when they're the toxic ones. Because they know what happens. Give yourself space. The one thing they don't want you to have. Give yourself space to do that. I promise you, you're going to be like, man, this shit was worth it. I feel like this every day, man. I'll be like, shit. <laughs> you want to overcome these sons of bitches? You got to talk to your ancestors. You got to get legit about your ascension and mean it. And ask your team to show you how to defeat these sons of bitches. And I promise you, you'll watch them fall.